Hey there, my name is Jonathan, and in a little over a week, I will begin my journey attempting to hike the entirety of the Appalachian Trail going northbound, and I want to go over all the gear that I will be taking with me. So this is an 11 pound base weight pack here. Uh, if you, for those that don't know, uh, base weight is everything that you carry minus consumable, consumables such as food, water, and fuel. So I'm just going to kind of get right into them and start off on the outside and then work my way in. So first up I have a cut to size thermo rest ridge rest. This is going to be my butt pad. I'll use it as a windscreen for my stove. I'll fan fires with it, use it as a plate, and I'll probably incorporate this into my sleep system in some way. Um, I also have a 100 weight fleece quarter zip. Uh, this is a mountain hardware one. I really wanted an insulating layer that could get wet and something I could wear while I was hiking. Also, on the outside, I have the Delorum InReach 1.5. Uh, now, many of you may know that there has been a couple of newer models of this, but I was able to find this one on sale. So I'll be able to have two-way um, communication via text message. All I have to do is pair it um, with Bluetooth onto a smartphone. So, and I'll have maps, weather updates, um, just a lot of really cool features on this. And it is a little bit of a weight penalty, it weighs slightly over eight ounces, but for the peace of mind and to be able to talk to friends and family, I think it's gonna be worth it. Okay, going into the mesh pocket. Got a bear bag with 50 feet of really lightweight cordage from Z-Packs. I think it's the lightest one that they offer. A small mini carabiner, and it is in the Sea to Summit pillow stuff sack. Okay. This right here is a cut off Sawyer bag, and this is going to be my water scoop, which I'll use to scoop water into my ever new two liter bladder here. When the water sources are really low, it can be quite difficult to get water into one of these. So what I'll do is scoop water out and pour it right into here. And this is a really lightweight and packable way to do that. Carrying some extra Ziploc bags. I do plan on packing out my toilet paper and this is just good for trash that I see on the trail. Also for emergency waterproofing of some of my electronics. This right here I'm pretty happy with. This is a just a regular kitchen garbage bag, not a compactor bag or anything. And what I did was I snipped off the corner of it and I plan on sliding this over my sleeping pad valve and then securing it with this rubber band. And this is gonna turn into a like a makeshift kind of uh, pump sack. So my only uh, make YOG piece of gear right here and I'm pretty happy with it. My least favorite thing to do on trail is blow up a sleeping pad after a long day. Optimus long handle titanium spoon. Electronics bag, I've got a 24 volt WSB anchor wall charger, a anchor 10,000 milliamp per hour battery pack, and I've got just a couple charging cables and a pair of uh, headphones. So this is part of my toiletry and first aid kit. I've got some bandages, I've got a Swiss Army knife, a pair of nail clippers, toothbrush, modium, painkillers, and a spare bottle cap. Okay, so my tent stakes. I got them in a little sil nylon pouch here. So I carry four MSR mini groundhogs and four little titanium shepherd stakes. Also going with the outside, I've got my tent poles. These are the carbon fiber struts from Tarp Tent. I have the Tarp Tent notch. I prefer to pack these on the outside because I like to stuff my tent. Two small water bottles.
Hand sanitizer clipped on the outside of the pack. Okay. Speaking of which, I guess we can talk about the pack itself now. This is a KS40 by KS Ultralight. KS Ultralight is a small company that is located in Japan and ran by a Frenchman named Laurent. Uh, this pack was custom made for me. It is 40 liters, plus I added two hip bell pockets. These are actually from Z-Packs, they are not from, um, from KS Ultralight. I went for the anatomic hip belt and the framed option. This whole pack, empty, comes in at 18.06 ounces and it can carry 25 to 30 pounds being topped out. Most frameless packs tend to top out at around 20 pounds and personally I like to carry a lot of food with me and a couple extra insulating layers to, to make sure that I stay warm. So for me this pack is perfect sitting at an 11 pound base weight. These, stay, these frames, they weigh about 2 ounces but with it it's going to make my carries a lot more comfortable. Okay, going into the hip belt pockets. These are things that I'm going to need to access throughout the day without taking my pack off. So I've got um, my guide here. I'm taking the Through Hikers Companion. And I got the, some, the rest of my toiletries and a couple more electronics. I've got my headlamp, a small dropper bottle of Dr. Bronner's, some dehydrated uh, paper towels. You just add water to them and then they pull right out. Some Luco tape, some chapstick a Gerber LST knife, and that's about it. Okay, other pocket. Sorry, squeeze. Body glad. Ignore this for right now. This is an experiment. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these. Alright, going into the main body. So first up, this is a little bit of a, a mixed bag here. I have my Frog Togs UL2 jacket in a size small, a lightweight fleece ski mask here. I chose to go with a ski mask over a beanie because I do not have a hood on my sleeping bag. In fact, I have a quilt, so this is going to be really nice at night. And also, I like how this one in particular has some mesh by the mouth so you don't build up too much moisture and it seals off the neck really nicely, so it's going to do a, go a long way in preventing heat loss. Got some possum down gloves. And this is also where I'm keeping my tent, the tarp tent notch. And I went back and forth on whether I was going to bring a ground sheet or not. I ended up, I tried polycro and I hated it, couldn't do it. So I went with a torso length piece of Tyvek. This is going to protect my floor a little bit but also it's just going to be nice to have something that's dry and clean to put, put things on. And this stuff sack is a Granite Gear Air Zip sack. I like it because it's easily accessible. It's a nice shape. It doesn't leave you with many air gaps in your pack. Alright. I am now entering the trash compactor bag. So in here, these, this is everything that I absolutely need to keep dry. This is my down jacket. It's an Arcteryx Cerium LT. A little, little heavier than some of those really ultralight jackets with those like 10 denier base fabrics, but I'm going to get a lot of extra warmth from this, and I was happy to eat the two ounces for that. My food bag. This is an Osprey 12 liter dry sack. In here, I've got about three, three and a half days of food, and I've also got my cook kit, which is a Toke 700 millimeter, milliliter uh, cook pot and a BRS 3000. Now I'm going into my sleeping clothes. I've got a spare set of sleeping socks. The Sea to Summit Arrows UL pillow. Some Patagonia lightweight Capoline leggings, just to have something clean and dry to put on at the end of the day. Now stacked vertically in my pack as sort of a makeshift frame is my Thermarest Neo Air X Lite, size regular.
And lastly, this is my Enlightened Equipment Enigma, Qu Enigma Quilt. This is a 10 degree model. Alright guys, and that is it. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And also, I do plan on uh, documenting a good bit of the trail. So if you want to follow me along, then feel free to subscribe. Thank you very much.